Hello, my name is Beverly Young and I'm one of the managers at AGK Cambridgeshire in Peterborough. Um, today I'm going to tell you a bit about what we do and more specifically what services we have in East Cambridgeshire. So things that may be useful to you um, and how you might like to get involved with us. This presentation will last about 15 minutes or so and will contain some slides and also some short bits of video. So to begin, we are a local charity and we work in the community to support older people, their families and carers. So we support older people to live independ independently at home. Now we're part of a brand partnership which many people already know and recognise as Age UK. Now this is a national charity but we are an independent local charity. We share the brand, but we work only in Cambridgeshire area, in the county. Um, we raise all of our own funds to deliver the services in our area, and we have our own board of trustees. If you wish to fundraise or donate, please do send us um, your donation locally if you intend the money to support local services. So what do we offer? We um, help older people to live independently at home. Um, sometimes it becomes a struggle as you get older to live at home, but with relatively small amounts of help, you can stay um, where you want to be. Um, and for most people that is at home and you can live safely and well. So what support can we give? Well, a big service that we offer is free information and advice. Um, we cover all sorts of areas. Um, we can help you to maximise your income. So we can check that you're receiving all the benefits that you're entitled to, for example. We can help with your outgoings by um, budget assistance and debt management support. Um, we can help you with care choices that may be available to you and um, help you navigate through the um, system with social services um, and other care providers. We can help you with health and wellbeing choices, um, including disability aids and support that might be available to you. Um, transport can often be a problem, so we can help you with blue badge applications, um, how to get to hospital or medical appointments, um, having knowledge of community transport schemes and how to access them. And uh, we can also help with just general ledger and let you know what's going on in your area where you live, what clubs you might like to join. Um, so if you ring our helpline, you may have access to all sorts of information. Just by talking to us, it might probably prompt a conversation uh, leading to more assistance that um, is available to you. Um, for example, we had a gentleman ring us and inquire if we knew of a mobile hairdresser um, in his area um, that he could contact. He wanted someone he, he could find um, who would be trusted. Um, so just by talking to him, we found out that he wasn't claiming the attendance allowance, which he's entitled to, and uh, we helped him to make a claim. So he was delighted. He was um, offered the higher rate amount, and this helped him um, more than just pay for a haircut. And of course, he was very pleased with that. We can, we can help you with practical things such as shopping and uh, we can accompany you to the shops for some small amount of shopping to help you build confidence. We can help with housework, um, help you with the heavier jobs like laundry and changing the beds. Um, you'll get the same person visiting you so you can build a relationship and that brings um, conversation into the home. We have a handy person service and can do small jobs around the house or we can help you to source contractors to do larger jobs. We can supply and fit grab rails and key saves, which is uh, very useful if you're being discharged home from hospital with a care package. We can help you with life admin and the paperwork we all get and most of us hate. Um, we can help you to read through your post, which could be difficult if you have poor eyesight or we can make phone calls on your behalf, which can be difficult if you're hard of hearing. We can support you through life 
life-changing times and difficult periods in your life, such as moving home, bereavement or financial worries. Again, you'll be supported by the same worker who can talk to you and you can talk to them throughout. We can also help you with um, connections to people for social opportunities. Um, we have different services which can help you help to reduce feelings of loneliness and isolation. Loneliness can become an issue at the best of times and can make you feel really low and has an effect on our health, not just mental health, but also physical health. For many years, reducing loneliness and isolation has been at the forefront of AUK Cambridgeshire and Peterborough, and we try our best to offer services that can reduce those feelings. So what I'd like to say to you is please don't feel you're alone. We can stay in regular contact with you and you can contact us and together we can work out the best way to enable you to live well at home. Uh, looking at the services we have specifically in East Cambridge here uh, that can offer that support, we have a community warden service in Ely and in Littleport. Now, if you're watching this video and we haven't got a service in your area, please do still contact us as we may have other things that we can offer or signpost you to other services that are in your area. But also, if there are enough people that contact us from certain areas, it shows us that there is a need for a service in that area and we'll do our best to find the funding to establish a service there. So we have 19 warden services across the county and six of these have started just this year. So do contact us, even if you may not live in Liverpool or Ely. Um, next, I'm going to show a, a short video clip about our warden service. People. Good morning, Hilda. Good morning. It's Debbie. I know. Hello. We've Good got morning. Marion with us today. Good morning. How are you feeling today? Harassed. <laughs> Harassed. Oh dear. You look very nice today, Hilda. Your oh hair's dear. nice. You've done your hair nice. Yeah. Well, then, when? Not wear cautious, but And the sun is shining, so that's good. I know. That's a positive, isn't it? Absolutely. We've got to be positive, haven't we? We have, Hilda. We've got to be positive in these very dark times. Well, we are, aren't we? We usually try to, don't we? Yes. Yeah. But I mean, you know, I couldn't fault you. You're always happy. Thank you. I try to be for oh, you. I know you do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you are, you're just marvellous. I mean, if all you think, if all these ladies are like you, Place, well, that's lovely, Hilda. That's really <laughs> nice, Hilda. Thank you very yeah. much. So you, you feel that the warden scheme helps you? Well, um, I, I think you can't, you can't do anything more than you could. You do more than you could anyway, really. <laughs> and you always know, you know, the shopping, you do it very well. Well, that's nice to hear. I, I do the best that I can with, I know you with what we've got in the village. Yes. So, I mean, you can't expect miracles, can we? <laughs> because... <laughs> can you tell us a little bit about how... Because you've been shut in for a long time, haven't you, with the oh, virus. Don't, how don't did, mention how, it. <laughs> how has that made you feel? Terrible. And so and because you've been shut in, tell us what's kept you going. Because I'm awkward. <laughs> <'Cause> I'm awkward. <laughs> You're very independent. Ninety-nine well, yeah, years old. Yeah. They keep telling me, but I, I mean, if I didn't do things, 
I would go mad. Yeah. You like to be as independent as possible. I do. And you feed the birds and... But I, I, I just do what I can do. I mean, at the moment, I can't do a lot of gardening, but I'm hoping I shall be able to fiddle about a bit. Yeah, I do. I, I like my garden and... I don't want anything exciting, you know. I mean, mm. it would just be nice to be able to go somewhere yeah. and meet a friend like we used That's to. That's right. It, That's the thing we miss more than anything. Can you tell us how old you are? 99. Amazing. Amazing. When Debbie phones you every day, that's a big boost for you, isn't oh, it? Oh, yes. You know, um, well, I miss her when she's not, you know, when she has a day off. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll have, to put a, we'll have to put a stop to you having days off, Debbie. <laughs> right, Hilda, we have to go. Right. Thank and you. You enjoy your dinner today. I shall do. And uh, thank you very much for letting us come today. Oh, you're welcome. I thought the same one never can fit it in. And... <laughs> <laughs> in your busy schedule. <laughs> that never quite. That never works. Eh? Thank you, Hilda. <laughs> thank you. I'll, I'll talk you're, to you, man. You're, you're very welcome. <laughs>We also have sharing time available throughout East Cambridgeshire. Uh, we have about 400 volunteers throughout the county who offer up their time to visit people, um, obviously not during COVID, although when we are allowed and when we have been allowed, our volunteers have made garden visits. In the meantime, they're making phone calls and hopefully in the not too distant future, we will return to home visits. Sharing time is just that. Um, a volunteer comes to visit you at home for chats, talks and offers friendship. Here's a short clip from Carol Cook, our team leader from Sharing Time, to tell you a bit more. Hello, my name's Carol Cook, Cook and I'm the Sharing Time team leader. Um, Sharing Time is a service that we offer to older people. It's where we match a volunteer with them that will go and visit them once a week to provide companionship. We offer this to people that are living alone and are either lonely or is and isolated or at risk of becoming lonely and isolated. We cover the whole county of Cambridge yeah. and at the moment we're supporting over 400 older people um, with 400 volunteers doing all the visits. Why, why would you like the sharing time service? What difference would it make to you? Uh, well, it would stop me being so lonely. Perhaps a volunteer that likes cats, etc. or yes. could show you photos if they've got cats. Just someone to talk to that yes, you would it like. Is. It is, really. Okay. During COVID, we also started a telephone friendship service. Um, this is purely over the phone, so even when we can make contact, um, it won't be the same sharing time as it uh, doesn't include home visits. Many of the connections were made so people can ring each other, and both sharing time and the telephone friendship links you with the same volunteer so you can get to know each other. Some of the friendships we have introduced have lasted many years um, with sharing time. And here's another video from Vivian, who manages our social connection services, to tell you more about um, one person in particular's uh, experience with the telephone friendship service and what it means to them. When lockdown, when lockdown began, we started to get a lot of calls from older people who were quite anxious about what was going on. And um, we started out slowly to um, match them with a volunteer who was willing to ring them once a week. Before we knew it, um, we had a hundred older people on our list. Uh, being supported by about 60 of our sharing time volunteers and as such we ended up having um, something that looked very much like a telephone befriending service. I was very anxious when lockdown began 
I live on my own and don't have family nearby. Then I was put in touch by a lovely volunteer from Age UK and now it's like having a pen pal, only she's a phone pal. I tell her my worries and my stories and she tells me a bit about her life and we've built up a lovely friendship. I've never met her and wouldn't recognise her if I fell over in the street. But I so look forward to our weekly chats and I feel much better about things now. We're always looking for telephone befriending volunteers, so please, if you know of anyone, do get in touch with us um, so that we can get them uh, involved as well. Thanks very much. So, as Vivian mentioned there, um, another way you get involved is by volunteering. Um, volunteering in any sense is extremely beneficial for your own health and well-being. It's a great way to meet new people, um, share your interests, learn new things, um, and it's proven to have significant health benefits. Um, doing good makes you feel good. Um, it keeps you uh, physically and mentally active and it's a great way to get involved with your local community. Um, we have far more uh, volunteers than we do employees in our organisation. We've got about 100 part-time employees and um, over 500 volunteers, um, 400 of those with the sharing time service and we simply couldn't deliver our services without our volunteers and um, you may be surprised to know that about 80% of our volunteers are over 65. Yeah, these are people who um, have retired um, and they still want something to do, still have something to offer, um, like to keep active, they've got skills and interests to share and um, so maybe you'd like to come and volunteer for us, so please do get in touch. Another thing you could also get involved with is our picnic. Um, some of you may have already have heard of it, I hope so. Um, it's been going for a number of years now. It's a national campaign organised by Age UK um, who work in partnership with Innocent Smoothie Drinks and they donate 25 pence for every little hat that we knit and send in to them. Um, you may have seen the hats on sale um, in the autumn in uh, local shops. I've certainly seen them in Tesco in Ely, for example, but I think they're also in the co-op. Um, the last time we did this uh, was the year before last, pre-COVID, and we managed to knit 15,000 little hats and raise a whopping £3,750, um, which all remained locally and helped more uh, local older people um, and in our services. So if you can knit or crochet, uh, there's lots of patterns on our website. Um, we have groups of people knitting. Um, you will see there the famed Stanton knitters. Um, if you um, have a group of friends and when you can get together, you could do some knitting for us in the knit and knitter groups, or maybe at home while you're watching TV, uh, knitting while you're sitting. Um, I remember a lady in her 80s who took a knitting in hospital uh, when she had a hip replacement. And uh, before we knew it, she had the whole ward knitting and uh, even the nurses and the doctors made and the doctor made it part of his rounds um, to see what she'd been knitting. Um, anyway, we have all sorts of wonderful patterns on our website. So this is a great way you can get involved with us and um, we'd love to see your knitted hats. And there are a couple of the patterns. Lots of them are on our website. So to summarise, there are things to support your well-being and happiness. Feeling independent and achieving things that you'd like to do or need to do to contribute towards feeling positive about things. Um, our services are here to lend a hand and the visiting support service can help you during particularly difficult times. You can ring us and we'll guide you with information and advice. Um, we have home help to help you with uh, housework, also a handy person who can help you with little jobs that need doing and fixing around the house. Um, we have community wardens offering daily support if you live in Ely or Littlepool.
If you'd like some social contact, a volunteer could visit you at home once a week or telephone you. And of course, you could also volunteer for us. And that's um, a great way of um, getting out or having some contact with people. So that was a bit about us. Um, if you'd like to get to know more, uh, please do give us a call or email us. The details are also on our website, um, which is www.adukcap.org.uk. We have uh, Facebook and Twitter, and if you have social media, please do like and follow us. On Facebook in particular, there are a lot more stories and photographs that you can see what we, we're doing in the local community. So thank you very much for listening and I uh, hope you enjoy the event. Bye.